You are here for a reason, right? Mm. Yeah. You look like you are. You were giving me that, that strange look like, girl, wait. Take a sip of your drink and stuff while you got a customer. But, trust me. I'm 100% professional. This little setup is temporary. We had a bit of a infestation at my office. Office. Office doesn't sound right. Office sounds too worky. Um, establishment. That sounds better. Yes. There was an infestation of some polter pests at uh, my establishment. But anyway, this is a temporary setup. Oh yeah, I know. I know the shopkeeper. So, yeah, we're good friends to go way back. Mm hmm Yeah. We look alike? <sighs> yeah. We get that a lot. Anyway, shh, 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 shh. No more talking. What troubles you? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, no matter. Either way, we can find you some clarity today if you wish. Yeah? I'll tell you what. Since you know the shopkeeper too, I'll even do it for free. Mm hmm. This is my lunch break anyway. Yeah, it's no trouble at all. As long as you don't mind me taking a sip of my drink every now and then. about you yet. I'm going to spritz you just a little bit. Some of this cleansing spray. I know you probably hear that all the time. Oh, this will cleanse your aura. Oh, this will heal your energetic field. It's not how it works. Okay. This is just a simple, simple Maybon mist for the autumn equinox. As you may know, we are well approaching Samhain. Samhain, by the way, is the night of the year when the veil is the thinnest. The veil. There's this veil of energy, right, that separates us from, I don't want to say the living from the dead, because technically no one's ever dead, but um, separates us in physical form from those of us no longer in physical form. And that veil gets very, 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 very thin. So thin. So thin, you can reach across it and make contact. Anywho, best time of the year for spirit work. Best time of the year. I love it. It's so great. It's 
So this Maybon mist, which by the way is not Samhain mist, don't get me confused. I may ramble a little bit, but don't get me confused. It's just got cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, some ginger, other essential oils that are calming to the soul. They just warm your soul and they're gonna get you nice and comfortable and relaxed. You're gonna take a few deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna get you nice and relaxed because when you're relaxed, when your energy's not all tense, it makes it easier for me and the car guidance. Fair enough? Yeah? Alright. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We're gonna do things in threes today. Yeah, don't ask why. Just go with it. Yeah. Maybe your mouth. I'm just gonna sort of spritz all around you, so. Yeah, just go. Yeah. Favor. Take a deep breath in. One, two, three. Yeah, one more time. One, two, Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, some people come to Tara looking for answers that they feel are not within themselves. But the truth is, the cards don't have any answers. The cards only have as many answers as you have. They just provide. A window for you to see in. Make sense? Hmm, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake yourself out. Ready? <clears throat> you to take a second, actually take three seconds, to think about a question. If you don't have a question, that's completely okay. You don't have to have one, but just think and see if you do have You do have one. Well, then do this for me. See this little doll? Do you see him? Do you see this little doll? Do you see my little doll? Yeah. I know I'm kind of in your personal space here. I apologize, but just bear with me. This little doll right here. He's a magic doll. Mm-hmm. There's 
a spirit in this doll. It's a very friendly spirit. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to, I want you to, that's what I want you to do. I want you to whisper. I want you to whisper your secret. Whisper your secret. Whisper your secret to my very special doll. And then he will whisper your secret to me. Can you do that? your lips or anything, okay? You jumped right out. Do you want to use these two? No, oh, you want to keep going? Fine by me. If they're meant to be, they'll be in the, in the, in the drawer regardless. I tell you what, I'll be much more slow. Sorry. Who is What? Knock on the deck three times. Yes, you have to connect with the deck. Just just a simple little knock. until
that. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then you want one to jump out of the deck. Okay. Alright. Alright. Thank you. Yeah. Past. Present. Ace of Wands reversed. Oh, I know they look right side up to you. Hold on. Better. Yes. Oh wait, now these still are. These two are reversed. This one's right side up. This one right here. This one. These two, these two, they're reversed. Which is not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, it's not a bad thing. I promise, darling. I promise, darling. It's not a bad thing. Shh, shh, shh. Relax. This book will tell us everything we need to know. Okay? Okay. Now, since we have these pentacles here, we have the ten and the two. The two of pentacles. Work and play. What did I say? Past, present, future? Yes. Present. Life is a balancing act. All things have their place and time. Are you working too much and playing too little? Is all your focus on one area of your life to the detriment of others? Then it could be that you need to shift things around a bit. Maybe this card is an indication that you're worrying too much about getting everything right all the time. So, finding balance. Finding balance. But in reverse, it means sort of the opposite. Not always, not entirely, but the opposite in a sense. So instead of trying to find balance, maybe it just means that you're in a place right now that is relatively balanced. And that is a good thing. But sometimes, too much of a good thing can lead to um, boredom. Maybe what you need is for that cat. See, see how there's a cat? There's a cat in the car. Do you see the cat? Maybe what you really need in your life is for this cat to land on your seesaw. Create a little bit of shifting. Maybe what you need something to come along and tilt your balance a little bit just to keep life interesting not so much that it causes distress but enough to keep things spicy all right now your past you have the ten of pentacles for your past happiness is more than money success is more than wealth abundance comes in many forms Do you have what it is that you really want, or at least some version of it? Make sure you're taking the time to appreciate what you have. Spend time with those you love, doing what you do. Enjoy your work as much as you would play. 
if you're striving, this card is an encouragement card. So as you're getting there, keep at it. This was the past, by the way. So maybe, my dear interesting soul, maybe you had everything. You reached all your goals. You found your perfect balance. And now it's time to create new goals create an unbalance so that you can find that because life is nothing but ebb and flow ebb and flow desire achievement new desire new achievement new desire new achievement it's always a roller coaster it's always moving always moving so maybe you've reached that point of balance and you're ready to reach for more I like this. I like what the cards have to say about you. Alright, so now your future. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Sometimes the universe gives you a boost. Don't miss an opportunity when it comes along filled with potential. When the Ace of Wands appears in a reading, it can often be an indication of something wonderful, powerful, and life-changing. What's happening in your life right now? Are you taking advantage of the opportunities in front of you? If the Ace of Wands shows up as a future card, it is both a promise and a warning. Be alert so you don't miss this moment when it gets here. The Ace may also represent a symbol of your own inner power. After all, the universe lies within us as much as it lies without. to tilt your life out of balance again. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe instead of the universe offering you a gift, maybe you are giving back. Ooh, ooh, maybe. Maybe now that you've reached all the goals, you're ready to shift your life out of balance again. Because so we're constantly trying to find new balance. So now that you've reached that homeostasis, you're ready to evolve. Maybe, just maybe, you're using the energy of getting back to create that, that next level. Maybe, instead of the universe giving you a boost, maybe you're giving back to the universe somehow. Whether it be acts of kindness, whether it be creative pursuits, because look, in the smoke, there's books, there's poetry, there's art, there's magic, there's music. Maybe, in reverse, it simply means you're giving back by expressing yourself by being creative, by creating things. Because every time we create something, we add to all that is. So maybe, maybe the reason you're feeling out of balance, or bored, maybe the reason you're feeling bored is because you're ready to be out of balance again. And so, instead of trying to get the wealth with the success because you've already got that, maybe it's time for you to create things. Now some people don't read cards backwards. Some people don't like reverse cards. It's totally okay if you don't, but it's food for thought. Yeah, of course. I'm glad you stopped by. You want to take a nice, long look at these? Here, I'll turn them right up for you. Can 
you see it well? Yeah. You see her? There's her cat. And her broom. Look, there's magic. And a map for exploration. Maybe you need to do some inner exploration. Maybe the universe is calling you back into yourself. See how he's about to be thrown off balance by that one wily cat. Cats are excellent, excellent teachers. And here's the Ten of Pentacles. It's a happy family. Everyone's loved, cared for. Everyone's happy and content. All found balance. I must say, that's quite an interesting reading. Yes, yes, definitely stop by again. Yeah, I'd like that a lot. So, did I help you find any answers? It's okay if I didn't. Sometimes cards just don't have what we need. That's okay too. Sometimes we're too far away from the guidance we're seeking to get it from cards. Regardless, I'll be here in this setup for a little while. The uh, professionals that we called in to take care of the uh, infestation at my establishment. Um, they estimated a couple months as far as getting rid of the uh, problem. <laughs> so, I'll be here set up in my little booth every Tuesday. If you uh, want to come back for another reading, or tea, or, you know, just maybe, maybe some cleansing. I look forward to seeing you again. It was so nice to meet you.